And after years of inaction, tonight the federal government is on the verge of forcing the banks to give us a better deal. Here's David Eccleston with its bold new plan and where you can get the lowest interest rates in town. We are at the stage where we desperately need people to act and start getting off the bad deals that they're on and get on to good deals. The Treasurer's got to look at where competition came from and how can I help them. The reality is we need real action from the Treasurer. After months of promising to keep the banks honest, the long-awaited bank reforms will be announced tomorrow. So tonight, we have an inside look at what's coming with four leading Australian financial experts. What it all means for you, and more importantly, how you can tell your greedy bank to take a hike and save thousands on your mortgage. We put together the big four to break down the changes. Non-bank pioneer Aussie John Simon, financial analyst Rowan Gamble from Mozo, Nicole Peterson McKinnon, Fairfax Media, and competition and consumer law professor Frank Zumbo. Uh, we are fortunate in Australia that our top four banks are classified in the top 12 safest banks in the world. But the downside is there ain't no competition today. John Simon was the first to take on the banks. He made getting a mortgage more affordable for every Australian. At Aussie, we'll save you. And says it's time the government forced competition back in the banks. One of the reforms is giving more financial backing to the non-banks, credit unions and building societies. So this is one of the points that you would agree with? Absolutely. Government needs to support the non-bank lenders, the smaller banks, building sightage credit unions to go to the global markets and be able to source wholesale funding at a par with the big four banks. What that means is the government will financially back the small lenders so they can prove to global banks they can repay the money borrowed. That means less risk for the lender and better rates for the non-banks. The government says you can't lose money by investing in those mortgages. If there are any losses, the mortgage insurer takes the loss. The greatest deterrent in changing banks is the paperwork involved. The one-form bank change will allow switching institutions much easier. A news poll survey found nearly one million Australian mortgage holders are looking to dump their bank if this goes ahead. A very easy switching mechanism is absolutely what's needed to get this market back under control and to get competition back in. Also on the table is abolishing exit fees when you move lenders. Exit fees have got to go, but the fees have to equal the costs incurred, and it seems raring to challenge it in court. So the message really is don't pay an exit fee now, wait, and hopefully you won't have to. While dumping exit fees will encourage us to shop around, John Simon says there's a greater issue of mortgage insurance that needs to be addressed as it will stop homeowners making the switch. When you discharge from and switch from one lender to another, that mortgage insurance contract comes to an end and guess what? You've got to start all over again. And in, 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 in most cases, you get, you're up for thousands of dollars. That's the deal breaker. General consensus is regulating the banks will increase rates for everyone, but competition does still need a desperate overhaul. The ACCC is set to get more powers to keep the big four in line. We have some of the weakest competition laws in the world, and the ACCC could use a lot more power to stop the four banks from uh, acquiring other competitors in the marketplace. The four big banks are spreading their tentacles, we need to stop that. And ultimately, we need to enforce cartel laws to keep the four banks honest. There's no reward from the big banks, so in turn, why should we reward them? We should act with our feet and go somewhere else. Rowan Gamble from Mozo says non-bank lenders have been preparing for the reforms and are ready to provide better deals for customers fed up with banks who cry poor, then at the same time pay their boss tens of millions of dollars and glide billion dollar profits every year. Well right now the average big four um, standard variable rate is 7.79%. You've got several credit unions and building societies less than 7%. The best on the market right now, IMB, has 6.82% on a home loan. That's 1% lower than the average big four rate. The $769 upfront sign-on fee is quickly swallowed up in the overall savings. $2,000 a year 
$54,000 over the life of the loan. Yeah, I think you can save $50,000 or thereabouts from Newcastle Permanent. They're also saying they'll give you a cash back for moving. Lots of providers are doing that now. Greater Building Society, Victoria Teachers Credit Union and Community CPS are also offering rates well below the big four banks. Let's get rid of the barriers to moving, come to us, we'll pay whatever fees you've got. So it's all starting to happen.